obviously when you look at pictures from X Factor days, obviously he looks a lot younger, but I don't know how you feel. I feel like he hasn't aged. I feel like he's always been that, that, do you know what I mean? He looks the same person. Like totally. he looks, he looks exactly like Does he did he look about. Like that in his twenties. <laughs> this is what I mean. I can't imagine him looking any really different. Um, but but yeah, obviously last night he sort of threw Sharon under the bus, as you totally reminded <laughs> me about. Totally threw her under the bus, but in a really brilliant way because I think he he obviously just likes gossiping and and stirring the pot, which is brilliant for us viewers. But I think he was sort of getting a little bit mixed up with it as he was going on. I think he forgot that he'd actually nominated ZZ. So he's in a conversation <laughs> with, who was it? ZZ and one of the girls, I've forgotten, um, Marish, Marisha. Yeah. So they're all like chatting away. And ZZ's obviously taken this very personally, which you would if you've been put up for eviction mm. within like 30 minutes of being in there. And he just, say, just starts going, yeah didn't like I just went on who I didn't like and Zizi's like right so you didn't like me oh actually well it was Sharon <laughs> I love that Sharon Sharon like, poor Sharon now is taking like all of that but he didn't need to tell her in that kind of way no he then suddenly just went oh that's all I can say <laughs> <laughs> that would be me <laughs> you realize you put your foot in it in case you didn't like me first can't see anymore no no can't see anymore that's so sad they didn't like me I didn't say anything it wasn't up to me. It was Mrs. O. I was just her assistant. But also when he was asking Zizi what, what she did and like what show she was on, you could just see like that blank. <laughs> Glazed over. <laughs> she started to talk about YouTube and he was like, right, he okay. <laughs> yeah, before, she hadn't even said Channel 4 and he was like, see you later. <laughs> she tried to grasp, but she that tried, didn't she? She tried to get She's it back. She's like, come on, Louie, like Channel 4. Channel but no, 4. no, it didn't work out. No, no. Um, I... I think that he's going to be someone that we have to kind of watch out for, um, that he could potentially be at the centre of arguments. We saw last night the first minor little tiff, which was the row over the beds situation. Mm. Um, and him, he was very dominating. It, it was going to be his big bed. Yeah. And he wanted to make sure that everyone else knew that he was kind of as important as Sharon. Sharon gets her own room and stuff, but he also gets this big bed. And he's yeah. like, he's important in that group. And poor Lauren was shoved out of the way. I know. She was just lost, sort of looking, where am I going to sleep? She's homeless, practically. And apparently, because I didn't actually go to the tour, but people that did do the tour of the house said the single beds are so, so, so tiny that like you'd be fighting just for the doubles. I think there's two doubles and the rest are singles. Oh, my God. And they're so narrow that, like, you'd roll and you'd be on the floor. <laughs> like... <laughs> You know. I think the bedroom activity is going to be hilarious in there. Yeah. And actually, our own uh, Sally Morgan, uh, uh, she was like, she was spilling all of the juice about this because she was just saying like that there's there's so many opportunities in that house to sort of to shine or to put your you know put your personality across or work out um, y y these kind of arguments between people like what sparks them off it could be the kitchen it could be mm. in there being you know not washing up or something but the bedroom also creates a lot of drama yeah because people were just very private about their space so should we hear what she has to say about all of the yes. housemates and about the bedroom situation let's do it you see all of them will will have said before they went in oh i'm gonna really open up and i'm really but you get in there and all of a sudden it's a bit like no i'm not opening up to you <laughs> and you, know, you forget about the the public and it's all about your housemate or your housemates mm -hmm. and where you sleep is really important as well the bedroom because we all know our bedrooms our sanctuary mine is i'm sure yours is yeah where we go to bed at night is our private space it's a bit like our car you know people that drive your car is like your private space and so you know you're they're all sleeping in the same room except sharon of course who's mm -hmm. got you, you know, she's got the throne room, um, <laughs> and and I think that that you're you're going to see how um, the bedroom and their beds. You see the real person, and you see what that person thinks of the person next to them, without a doubt. Oh, okay. And is there a bit of a hierarchy there? Because we saw Louis take the main bed, the big yeah. bed. He sort of really, really? and he pushed yeah. everyone else out the way for it. Yeah. 
Yeah, well, of, of course. Well, he, he, what it is, it's a bit like also he was saying, wasn't he? Sharon's not the only one that's got her own space. <laughs> I want my own space too. I'm as important as Sharon. That's what he was saying. I mean, he, he is quite funny. I mean, he's incredibly predictable, Louis. <laughs> very, very predictable. Uh, but when I look at Louis, Louis Walsh. Yeah. I mean, you know, as much as everybody loves Louis, but I think he's being very mischievous and very precious Mm-hmm. And I, I, I do think that he's checking himself. He's listening to what he has said. He's watching their reactions and then he's thinking, oh, maybe I shouldn't have been as, as hard on that person or maybe I should have been kinder. So, but, you know, at the end of the day, we want people to be genuine and Louis being genuine at times isn't nice. <laughs> He's All quite respect, harsh, isn't he? He's quite harsh, and I think that Louis opens his gob when he should keep it shut. But <laughs> that's what that's what the house does to you. You see, the house will check you. You will mm -hmm. you will want to open your mouth, and then you'll think, "Whoa!" And Louis's already doing that. He's falling over his words. So um, he he's gonna and he's gonna miss Sharon when Sharon goes. It, He's staying in the whole time, isn't he? Yeah, and then, uh, yeah, I think that's going to be such a loss for him, isn't it? She's oh, his yeah. sidekick and someone he can trust. Well, she's, she's uh, yeah, well, she's his ally. Mm. Although, I do think that um, had she stayed in longer, when people, what happens is the house wears you down. You get a little bit worn by it. So you, 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 your tongue becomes a little bit looser and you suddenly think, do you know what, I don't care what people think, I'm going to say that because that's what I'm feeling. And I do think that had Sharon stayed in there, she would have said to Louis, do you know, Louis, you got to keep your mouth shut at times. So she won't be there to protect <laughs> him and to check him. And I think that Louis going to make a lot of faux pas. You wait and see. There's usually one person in every series, at least one, who who sort of makes a bit of a fool of themselves. You know, they they do something that perhaps if they could go back in time, they wouldn't do. Um, and it's just been a that moment of breaking the I don't know, like kind of they've forgotten the cameras are there, perhaps, or you know, they just they just slip up a little bit. Um, do you predict it will be Louis who may be potentially in trouble about? the end of the series and how people actually like him because he got huge cheers when he went in but could it be booze on the way out well i think it will be some of mm -hmm. it will be booze mm -hmm. and, and i think that he's going to be quite shocked at that and you know what do they say you you doth pro profess too much and he he will come out um trying to make excuses when really he's just he's better to come out and say you know it was tough in there end of mm -hmm. uh but of course Louis wants to own everything, doesn't he? So it, it, it's like um, he he isn't going, he won't apologise for anything. Um, the Sun, we did a story about how uh, Louis has been bombarded with all of these calls from sort of musicians in the industry and stuff because they're very concerned that he might blab about their secrets that no one knows about. Um, what, what do you think that he could do that because he's going to forget the cameras are there and suddenly just starts telling all of these incredible no. scandals? I I don't think he will tell. I don't okay. think will will t talk about scandals. I think he's very aware that he doesn't he doesn't want to do that. I think that he's very aware of that. But I do think because I also think that um, like anybody, you know, they've got secrets. Louis's got secrets. We all mm -hmm. know that. Mm -hmm. um, I think that. He's a, I think he's a very nice person, Louis, but I just think at times his profile, his power, he has a lot of power, the man, mm -hmm. you know, he's been around a long time. Um, that can sometimes come before niceties. Mm -hmm. but the house will check him and, and of course they're all, they're younger than him in there. So they're, mm -hmm. they're a lot more, you know, that they're, they're cooler and they're, they're, they're on point a lot more. So he... He will. Um, he'll have a bit of a shock, but mm -hmm. it, it's a shame because I like him. He's, I like Louis. I've always liked Louis Walsh because yeah. he's very open. But I think that when you're in the house, you've got to play the game. If you don't play the game, then you're going to have a downfall. Mm -hmm. 